what is up everybody from Wessel out here in Los Angeles, your friend Leia, artist. We got some beautiful weather out here, we got some blue skies, and this morning could definitely feel fall or autumn in the air, however you want to call it. On today's blog post, I'll try and keep uh, quick, simple, and to the point. It's about some of the stuff I've been doing lately. I found kind of a new canvas and hopefully uh, a way to hopefully start bringing in some revenues. Um, yeah, so there's been a lot of stuff happening lately, lots of different projects I've been working on. Um, but yeah, let me just get to it. I don't want to spend too much time in the preamble. So here we go. This is a chair full of painted pants. Now, a lot of you have probably seen me wearing like some of these around in a way. I have several, well, a bunch of different pairs now. I think I've got what I consider four pairs that are my working pairs, the ones that I use while painting. Some of them I've kind of retired because I just kind of like how they look and I don't want to mess with them anymore. Oh, I don't want to show you the next pair. I've got to put them out of order here. But yeah, so these are kind of pants that I've been using for painting and, and wearing out in public and stuff like that. And people have been giving me a lot of really good feedback about these. Like they enjoy looking at them, they're interesting all this other jazz and that kind of makes sense because there's literally on each of these like 30 to 50 paintings worth of like paint that's been wiped on my hands sometimes i just went completely nuts and just like that's crunchy that's not even crunchy that's just like solid paint on here but it's just like when you look at the textures and everything and all the different colors well let's just say people have really liked them so it's given me an idea to kind of expand that idea into something that i can make a little bit more saleable and marketable by whoop, Specifically, painting paintings on pants. Here, let's see if I can back up far enough. Oh, I'm stepping over my other pants. But yeah, right, we have like a literal painting on the pants. And these are the ones I did. Whoa, cement truck went by. Brr. These ones I did while they were like lying on the floor. And if I turn them over, you'll see that I also thought about the backside. Like, I gotta definitely work on like a more specific kind of define what the back's gonna look like, but I didn't want people spending too much time like, oh, there's a painting on the back as well, because I want the front to be the focus, but there also still to be a back. So it's not like, oh man, you completely just did the front and the back was an accident. Like all of this stuff, like how I did it was on purpose. Um, another pair of jeans I did while sitting down or not sitting down, I did on a pair of pants that were just lying down. Sorry if you're getting dizzy with the camera moving around a lot. I'm just gonna do this be this pair so this was another pair that I did kind of just like straight up like a painting I went in and I just kind of went nuts just painting like I would an actual canvas but also knowing that people are gonna wear them and want to be noticed for them so I had a freaking blast with that these ones I spent a little bit less time on the back I wanted to make sure it kind of felt like the front, but kind of like you see sometimes the back of a painting, it's like not... It's the same thing but different as they would say. So, like these ones which started as my work jeans, I eventually modified to do into painted jeans. Well, this is the back side of them. This is the front side, the cool painted part. There's one other pair that I did that if you watch my blog you will have seen before. These ones were very personal to me. Yeah, because I was wearing them while I painted them. So you can kind of see a little bit of the difference. Like the worn ones have that. I was trying to give them more of a like, hey, I'm wearing these kind of while painting kind of feel, but at the same time making them eye catching and like, uh, like, a, like a painting almost. And one of the things that's like big differences between the paintings that I these uh, jeans that I specifically painted to paint and the ones just happen to be my work jeans, or maybe it's something obvious, maybe it's not, but it's just like the definite thickness in the paint and the number of layers and all this jazz. And I know that's what people really like to get about these jeans, but the time it takes to do them is absolutely crazy. Like, you have to paint them, let them dry, paint them, let them dry, paint them, let them dry, and that's a multi-day. Like I said, there's like 40 to 50 paintings on each of these, like, worth of stuff. So, it's like, for these ones, if I was gonna do them for other people, the cost of them would be a little bit prohibitive. Especially for people who have like don't know my art too well. But uh, working with these kind of jeans, where you can just paint on them, like there's ways to fake the, like the layers in a bit, like so it feels more solid. But it's still to do them right requires a lot of time. 
but uh, yeah. So this was a couple of things I've been up to, like taking the jeans that I use as like my daily wear, not my, well yeah, usually my daily wear, to something that's a little bit more fashion oriented and business oriented, which is kind of a cool leap for me. But there's actually something that even jumped up on here that was even cooler. Thanks to my buddy, he's like, he got me these two pairs of jeans that I painted here. He also got me hats to paint. Now, I'm gonna be straight up front and say that this color combo was a complete accident that they matched up like this. Like, my subconscious was working on some strange, strange freaking levels that I don't know too much about. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of quiet while the garbage cans roll by. I'm gonna move this too. Because, yeah, my subconscious is a really, really crazy thing. I've stopped thinking too much about some of these connections that happened because once again, when I painted these pants, I was not at all thinking about like comboing them with a hat. Like that just, I guess there are certain color combos that I like. And when I did the second hat without even thinking about it, that kind of came here. I have to find an angle where the light is not going to be completely gnarly on it. So yeah, I, that was an accident, but it turned out and worked. So, so that's the combo. And you want to see even something stranger? They're like, we got these. And again, these are a completely separate case of stuff. So, yeah. Like there's this interesting tenuous thread of connection between them. And it gets even crazier because the painting underneath it works for these pants. That same energy and color like um, trifecta. And this was all subconscious. Like I did not mean to do this and what makes them even crazier that painting's folded is that these two paintings here this one and that one are on a seven ounce cotton something that i meant to do is just the practice for like meditation mats so on the pairs of jeans that i painted the pairs of hats that i painted and the pairs of paintings that i painted all of them not meaning to combine be combined somehow are combinable and so maybe i will make a hat actually i will be making a hat for this pair of pants to see if i can match it up and do it consciously because to do a business well you kind of got to be able to do that consciously so it's kind of an interesting thing going from these pairs of pants which are I know definitely are gonna turn into an art thing for me and um, also more high-end sales because it's gonna take time it takes so much time to do those because something that's a little bit more quick consumable for me to do like to put out and sell so well, these are the things I've been working on so, yeah, painting on clothing. It's nothing new, nothing unique. The only thing that makes it unique is me doing it. So, the me factor. All right, let's get back and close this out so you don't take too much more of your time. All right, I'm just gonna end this pretty quickly. Um, that turned out to be a little bit longer than I meant it to be. I hope I didn't ramble on too long, but the more I thought about it, the more interesting it looked to me, just like in general, how those connections were and you know the process of going from like where I started with my jeans to like, painting jeans potentially for other people, like turning my color knowledge and feelings like that how I do my painting into something that might be a consumable product for people. It's, it's kind of a cool process for me. Um, oh yeah, also as apparently I have anime hair today. I did not know how that came about. I took a shower and apparently it dried weird. I have to get gel or shave it off. I don't know. So that was today's vlog. Um, starting to paint on clothes, nothing new or unique. Um, it's gonna be fun though. I gotta figure out a lot of different technical things to it. Um, see if I can find a crowd of people to be interested in repping it and wearing it. So that's another big step. There's, good God, there's like five projects I got running that are all like, what do I do next? All these big step things. So hopefully some of the dots will start connecting soon and we'll start getting some feedback. So um, yeah, the business end. Thank you very much for watching the uh, another of my vlogs. If you want to support me or be a part of the journey, um, hit up my Patreon at I am Wessel. Um, you can either subscribe to my monthly painting thing or like hit me up for commissions. Um, if you want to head to my IamWessel.com site, what that is is all my merch, so a lot of my paintings and stuff on t-shirts and bags and stuff like that. I'm um, thinking of getting into posters as well. There's a lot of, a lot of stuff I got to get done. So got to get that uh, engine, revenue engine flowing first. Um, and yeah, if none of those, thank you for stopping by. Like, shares, comments are always appreciated. So yeah, 
Ah, uh, this is uh, Wessel from Los Angeles. I'm going to get back to my other work now. <laughs> Everything is work. <laughs> hope everyone has a fantastic day and the weather's, well, not even just the weather. I just hope you're all having a great day. All right, later.